At Wisdom, we harness technologies like AI, digital health, to optimize and personalize how we address various indications, ranging from cognitive health all the way to oncology. Curate AI is a pioneering digital platform. We do not use pre-existing data to train algorithms to make predictions. Instead, Curate AI calibrates each patient that it treats by exposing them, for example, to different doses of a drug and measuring their response to come up with a personalized profile so that we can optimize dosing. In the arena of digital therapeutics, we expose the user to different intensities of training, as well as corresponding performance. So with these approaches, Curate AI is able to capture that information in a very economical fashion to immediately and dynamically individualize how we treat every single patient. Digital health and uh, AI technologies have a potential to address um, all the different elements of the healthcare continuum, monitoring, uh, prevention, diagnosis, and intervention. And for, this, for the specific examples, is we can look at the different the target groups. So we can think about the pediatrics, we can think about the youth and maybe identifying the ones that are at risk of uh, anxiety or depression. And what AI can uh, help with is uh, identifying the, the individuals that are behaving slightly differently or the behaving patterns have changed over time. With the elderly, we can gain some insights into who may be at risk of uh, cognitive uh, uh, decline and um, provide a personalized intervention early so the risks are not as significant because they don't have a chance to develop uh, into something that is uh, too difficult to deal with later. So the likes of wearables and personalized medical devices are improving the lives of senior citizens and beyond. For example, we're here creating a digital therapeutic platform for cognitive training where we're having senior citizens play a game on a tablet or a computer where they can train different cognitive functions such as executive processing and multitasking and memory tasks all at once in the safety of their own home but we have our own uh, artificial intelligence platform running in the background that's monitoring them over time and monitoring their progress over time and also adapting so that it'll become harder for them as needed or it become easier as needed. And it's moving away from the one size fits all approach. And we're putting the care into the hands of the seniors. So we're improving not just their cognitive functioning, but also the quality of life uh, as well. So there are a couple of ways that psychology can uh, inform digital therapeutics and digital medicine in general. One is just the insight that we're learning machines. It's what we're born to do, it's what we do very well. And yet there are some aspects of our psychology that are very difficult to change, very difficult to train. This includes fundamental processes such as executive function, working memory, or attention. For these more kind of stubborn processes, then we might be able to uh, actually use some of the, the insights uh, that we have from these different training apps, for example, uh, in order to improve performance. A lot of the time, this is going to be encouraging sustained engagement uh, with a task in such a way that it is challenging yet feasible uh, and in a way that gives the user enough feedback, they can actually change their behavior in such a way uh, to improve. A core ethos of wisdom is that technology alone cannot transform healthcare. So when we think about all our stakeholders, we are bringing together engineers, clinicians, healthcare economists, behavioral scientists, as well as a team members from insurance, in fact, to make sure that we cover the entire spectrum of how to innovate and how to deploy. To be successful in terms of tech implementation, adoptions, and particularly when it comes to digital topics, it's really important to understand the full ecosystem of the solutions. And, and by ecosystems, we typically look at, for example, insurance, medtech, pharma players, how will they see and value the solution? How will they want to monetize the solutions? What kind of endpoints will they want to see from the clinical trial? How their customers, that could be physicians or could be you and I as potential patients, users, how will they see these potential solutions. And that's why what, what we do early on with our teams, with our partners, 
is to have a diagnostic of these ecosystems, of these different interventions and these different settings and, and, uh, uh, and setups to optimize not only the solutions, the product that you may have, but to optimize the business model. Uh, and that's why having this implement, implementation strategy is a must for these organizations. The visions of wisdom for the future in the long run is to deploy our solutions for, for an impact to help patients and um, to set up the road for technology implementation um, and just to empower the, the people in Singapore and abroad to take healthcare into their own hands with tailored solutions that um, will optimize their care in the long run. We are proving that we can improve patient outcomes while reducing the cost of care, the best of both worlds. So to sum things up at Wisdom, we have a portfolio of technologies backed by an array of small data-based AI and digital medicine platforms to ensure that we can bring truly personalized and optimized healthcare to all.